Hi, and welcome to the Cortex tutorial for dead pixel detection and correction. Today, I'm going to walk you through the different ways to detect persistent dead pixels in your image files, and if you have the Enterprise Edition, eventually repair them using Cortex's dead pixel correction algorithm. Cortex's dead pixel module is one of many in our QA tool. For more tutorials about Cortex, go to tutorials.mtifilm.com. Keyboard shortcuts for the Cortex tools are available in the help menu, and as we go through the tutorial, they will also appear on the screen for easy reference. All right, let's get started. Cortex offers dead pixel detection in all editions, but only the Enterprise Edition offers MTI Film's correction algorithm. Cortex DIT and DIT Plus are used on set for importing camera clips in order to detect sensor problems that result in dead pixels. The metadata collected can be passed on to other Cortex users via the Cortex manifest. A .csv file with all the detections can also be generated. Similarly, Cortex dailies can be used near set to flag dead pixels on camera clips during the daily stage with the same reporting options. In addition, since Cortex dailies has the edit tool module, it can create a composition from a clip containing pre-edited media and merge a corresponding EDL, or when an EDL is not available, run shot detection. This allows for the detection to occur on each shot in order to generate the manifest that can be imported along with the media to a Cortex Enterprise workstation for correction. Cortex Enterprise provides the ability to detect and correct camera clips as well as pre-edited media in the QA tool. To detect pixels in raw camera files, first import the material into the master clips bin. For any files that are in a log color space, we recommend adding contrast and saturation by either adding a LUT or manually in the color tool. This enhances the detection process by increasing the contrast of the dead pixels. We recommend using the preview deliverable with the Apply Creative Color and Effects option selected. If you're going to eventually render the repairs with the Cortex Enterprise Edition, make sure this option is turned off in the deliverable that you choose to render. Next, select the clips that you'd like to detect. Click Detect and ensure that Detect Dead Pixels is selected before hitting OK. You can export a .csv file of the detected clips by right-clicking on the Master Clips bin, choose Export Job Reports, and selecting Dead Pixel List. From here, you can either export a list containing all detected pixels or just the accepted ones. If you're working with pre-edited media, such as a color master, select the source clip, click the Detect button, and choose Create Auto Composition. This uses the source frame rate as well as the first and last frames of the clip to determine the length of the composition. Then choose the desired option for creating shots or segments, either by merging an EDL or through Cortex's shot detection algorithm. The benefit of merging an EDL is that Cortex will use the edit decisions to instantly create the shots in the composition, allowing for simultaneous dead pixel detection of all the shots. Cortex will refresh every 30 to 60 seconds, displaying dead pixel candidates for completed shots, while the remaining shots continue processing in the background. It also allows you to sort the list by tape name, so that all shots with the same camera name can be grouped. When the shot detection option is used, Cortex detects shot breaks and dead pixel candidates simultaneously. When a cut is detected, a Cortex break is inserted into the composition. However, when using detect shot changes, it's recommended that you verify that the breaks have been inserted correctly. To insert a break missed by the shot detection, press the comma key. To delete a break, press control comma. For a closer look, let's work in the full view mode by pressing F11 or clicking the full view button at the bottom of the UI. Dead pixel candidates are displayed in two ways. In the player window, a gray box indicating a candidate status will appear around the proposed pixel. When you click on the box, the color will change to match the corresponding color channel. You can also find the candidates in the dead pixel list accompanied with their channel, severity, persistence, size, x and y coordinates, and current status. 
You can include or omit specific color channels by selecting or deselecting the color options here. Dead pixels and cortex are assigned a score based on the severity of the pixel contrast to its surroundings and the persistence of the visibility throughout the length of the shot. These sliders adjust the minimum severity and persistence to filter out candidates with scores that go below the determined threshold. Similarly, you can lower the maximum size with this slider to filter out candidates that exceed this threshold. You can select a pixel by either left-clicking on the box in the player window or selecting an item from the list. You can preview dead pixel candidates by holding down shift and scrolling forward with the mouse wheel. By holding shift, you will zoom in directly to the currently selected candidate. Once zoomed, pressing the T button toggles the proposed fix. Press T again to toggle back to the candidate. The selected pixel is displayed in two sets of magnified boxes. The left set of boxes shows the pixel defect before the fix. The top box is displayed in full RGB color. The bottom box is a black and white display of the pixel's affected color channel. The right set of boxes shows the pixel candidate after the cortex fix. When vetting candidates, we recommend using segment play by clicking here or pressing Ctrl Shift C. This will prevent the playhead from moving beyond the current segment while playing through an event. Once you have determined that the candidate is in fact a dead pixel, click Accept or press G to assign an approval status. The gray box will turn white to indicate an accepted status. This will be reflected in the list as well. If you determine that the candidate is a false positive, click Reject or press A to assign it a rejected status. The box will turn black to indicate that it's been rejected. Since dead pixels are an inherent camera sensor defect, they tend to repeat themselves throughout a composition of edited content based on repetition of camera use. Often, they can be observed in a pattern of clusters throughout a show or movie. With this in mind, when a status is assigned to a pixel, Cortex ripples through the timeline and automatically assigns the same status to pixels with matching X and Y coordinates. This expedites the approval process, saving time in the manual operation of dead pixel detection. If you would like to accept all visible candidates for the currently selected event only, press Shift-G. Control shift g will accept only the currently selected candidate of the currently selected event. Similarly, Shift-A and Control shift a will reject. You can include or omit pixels in the list based on their status by selecting these options. If an EDL is merged to the composition, the tape name column can identify the camera source for each event in the composition. Another method of automating status assignment is to use the copy and paste to similar events function. With the pixel you intend to copy selected, right click on the media player or in the list view and choose copy and paste to similar events. The Select Events dialog box opens. Using the up and down buttons, choose how many characters are included in the search criteria for matching camera rolls. For example, if four characters are included, Cortex will paste the pixel record to all events captured in that camera roll. If needed, a pixel record can be copied from one shot and pasted to another. Right click on the pixel record and choose Copy from the Context menu. Navigate to the shot you wish to paste in and then right click and choose paste. The pasted pixel will have the identical status to the copied pixel. You can also delete a pixel record from a shot by right clicking and selecting delete from the menu. If needed, you can edit the metadata for a pixel record, such as its X and Y coordinates or size, by right clicking and selecting edit. Modify the appropriate properties. If you would like to ripple this edit to pixels sharing the same X and Y location, click here. Otherwise, click OK. Cortex allows the use of an ROI to exclude detection from a region of the image. Before clicking Detect, enable the ROI and choose the aspect ratio. If using the Cortex Enterprise Edition, you can render the repaired dead pixels by right-clicking on the composition and selecting the appropriate deliverable. Before selecting the deliverable, make sure that the Repair Dead Pixel option is selected in the deliverable configuration and that the Apply Color Corrections and Effects is unselected.
If you need to apply corrections to a different clip that corresponds identically to one that's already been detected, but perhaps represents a different phase in the post-production process, like an assembled master to a color master, you can add the clip to a new video track too in the edit tool. Toggle the layer on and off to make sure that you've cut the material in at the right location. Then right click on the composition and choose copy, breaks and dead pixels. This will copy all cortex breaks and detected dead pixels along with their statuses from V1 to V2. Then you can render the composition. Before render, be sure to choose V2 only. In the case where third-party QC departments have run detection, either using Cortex or another application, Cortex can import a properly formatted .csv file that directs the software to the X and Y coordinates of the detected pixels. If you are working with Netflix, you can request a .csv file specifically formatted for Cortex. Once the file is imported, Cortex can then render the corrections to the required deliverables. Using the original media that rendered the media used by the QC company to generate its report, create a composition that starts and ends at the exact same timecode, or, if an existing composition exists on a V1, place the same clip on V2. This will isolate the imported pixel detections on V2, and later allow rendering for only the affected shots. In this scenario, right-click on the timeline and choose Copy, and then Breaks Only. The breaks from V1 are copied to V2. If no cuts are present on the timeline, you can detect the cuts when importing the .csv file. Click the Import button and choose Import Dead Pixel CSV. Navigate to and select the .csv file. Once the .csv file is opened, Cortex will load a list of dead pixels with the start and end time codes as well as X and Y coordinates. If no breaks are present on the composition timeline, enable the Locate Events Using Shot Detection checkbox. If no remapping of the X and Y coordinates are required, click Start to initiate the import process. If the edit breaks were already present, the import will be almost instantaneous. If shot detection is required, more time is needed. Once complete, the timeline will populate with yellow lines above the segments where pixels have been imported. If shot detection was used, the edit breaks will also appear. Above each segment is either a green or yellow line. The yellow line indicates shots that have imported pixels versus the green lines that indicate pixels detected in this Cortex project. If the frame size of the media used to generate the X and Y coordinates of the imported list differs from the frame size of the media in the composition used for the original detection, then the imported X and Y coordinates will need to be remapped. For example, a master DPX frame size of 4096 by 2160 was used in a composition to generate a 3840 by 2160 IMF that was QC'd by a third party. The QC generates a list of X and Y coordinates that require correction, but of course the original master DPX files require new coordinates that map properly to their frame size. After importing the .csv file, enable the remapping checkbox. Then enter the frame size of the media used by the QC house. Select the extraction method used to create the QC media. Finally, enter the frame size of the original media. Click Start and the coordinates will be remapped upon import. If you want to manually add a pixel from a QC report, click New and input the X and Y coordinates and select a size. Similar to a .csv file, you can choose to remap the X and Y coordinates by enabling the option and following the same procedure. Cortex provides the ability to render only the shots that contain accepted dead pixels, which is especially useful when rendering frame sequences such as DPX files where the objective is to replace the frames that have been corrected. To do this, create a composition reel by clicking New and selecting Composition Reel. Composition reels are intended to render specific segments of compositions versus the entire composition. Choose source timecode to preserve the original timecode and select a deliverable and click create. A composition will appear above the reel. With the composition selected, filter out the events that do not include dead pixels by selecting filter and choosing the dead pixel option. 
Select all of the remaining events, right click and choose Add to Selected Comp Reel. Like a clip reel, you must close the composition reel to complete the render. For immediate access to the rendered file, switch to the Render tool and in the Completed column, right click on the Completed Render task and select Open Containing Folder. To export a dead pixel report for a composition, right click on the composition and select Export Composition Reports. Ensure that dead pixel is selected and choose to report on either all of the detected pixels or just the accepted ones. And that's the Cortex tutorial for dead pixel detection and correction. For other shortcuts, please reference the manual by pressing Shift F1 or located in the help menu that's found in the upper right of the GUI. For other tutorials, please go to tutorials.mtifilm.com For support, to submit a help ticket, or for other useful information about Cortex, please visit forum.mtifilm.com